Okay, so we're here at the Bronco, and I am putting in a fuel pressure regulator because this electronic fuel pump doesn't have a regulator on it, which is pretty dumb, actually. In case, uh, in case this electronic fuel pump were to ever go out, I do have a manual mechanical fuel pump, which goes right there where that little plate is. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. And what I'm doing here is just uh, loosening the fuel line. I've already got it off of the filter on this side. Another weird thing is they put in two inline filters. So you've got one here and then one here. I don't know why they did that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna spill a little bit of gas. Hopefully not that much. Now the reason I'm wanting to pull this uh, fuel line off is because it's got this metal protective cover around it. I don't remember what they call those, but uh, I need to cut my fuel line, so i got to pull that deal off first in order to be able to do that. Okay, so I've got my little piece of metal snakeskin looking kind of thing off, and I've got my fuel line here. Now I'm wanting to put my fuel pressure regulator after the fuel filters. So just got to figure out where would be a good place to cut it so I can mount it on the fender. I don't really have much of a way to mount it. But maybe somewhere right there would work. We'll give that a try. Like that. Okay, so I got my hose cut. And now I just need to use my 3 8 inch adapters to make sure they'll work in there. They sure will. And uh, I'll get this fuel pressure regulator put together. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken Teflon tape and put it on both of these fittings so that uh, in hopes that I would have a good seal I just screw these two fittings in and I'm gonna have to get a wrench I don't have a wrench so pause okay so I've got these tightened down and this is my fuel pressure regulator and now I get a just plug it into the lines here that one, that one, it's plugged in, just got to get my hose clamp back on this one and I'm going to have to get some hose clamps but for now I'm going to try zip ties, I don't know if they'll work but anyway I think I'm going to try and get this heat protector back on this side here because it runs pretty close to that engine. I don't know if it gets too hot or not, but anyways, boiling fuel is never good. I don't even know if that'll work, but it looks kind of cool, so I'll throw it back on. Okay, so my zip tie idea was a terrible failure. I should have known. Fuel under pressure. But anyway, um, we got this dude set up, and I've got it set at 4.5 PSI. Um, Factory specs on this thing is between four and five, so four and a half should be good to go. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, first thing, um, got that fuel pump running, no leaks. We'll give it a try. So here we go. Maybe I ought to turn the fuel pump on. Hmm. Okay, well after a carburetor fire, I can deduce that uh, 
my carburetor is probably way out of adjustment I'm not gonna say it was a complete failure yet because this should actually be doing what it's supposed to so anyway uh, to play with it another day I got other stuff to do <laughs>